Michelin wiper performance, clearer than ever. Upgrade to Michelin premium wipers today at Walmart, Amazon, and other fine retailers. So this is uh, medium wave, uh, 880 kilohertz WCBS on the uh, RTL SDR V3. Been playing around with this uh, throughout the day today. Uh, and of course, I uh, wanted to uh, test it out a little more. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's for the price, it's fun to play with. And uh, there was a comment that I uh, that was on the channel today that um, you know someone had a uh, more expensive DR, but still uh, found it fun to play with the RTL SDR V3, and it would go back to. It's uh, that's the kind of SDR that this is. It's definitely something that works interestingly well for the price, and that if you can cope and understand the flaws, you actually are having fun, and, and it, it does the job decently well. Um, I could see somebody with this as an entry level SDR if if you know you know what you're doing. The, uh, like I said, the biggest flaw here in this SDR is the fact that you have to install that special driver. But um, also, you got to understand that there are images that pop up at a lot of different places. So you hear stations. You just got to be aware that you know. Make sure that the frequency you've tuned to and the station is on the frequency you've tuned to. But apart from that, it uh, it's extremely decent and. and is sensitive. Um, you can see here that it varies in its uh, the, the colors vary here, and you can see sometimes that the waterfall goes down and up. And this is really uh, an effect of the dongle that you know will overload with the strongest of the signal. So sometimes it desensitizes the dongle. You could see it here, but it's not enough to necessarily make things bad. Um, it, you know, just play with the RF gain. Make sure that you try to uh, to um, you know use the uh, the mi minimum RF gain possible to get the signals you want without overloading the devices. And you know, I've got an MLE 30 here, and there's a lot of signals that are very strong on 49 meter band, especially from WWCR. I'm using the uh, SDR console V3 here with it, but um, we'll try a few other software. I want to try. Uh, I'm going to go back and try SDR Sharp that I uh, used with this in the past. I also want to try um, a couple of others, HD SDR, see what, how, how, you know, I haven't been using that one in such a long time. But overall, it's it's fun to play with and uh, to uh, tune around the bands. And uh, I've been, of course, comparing it a little bit with some of the portables, but I'll be comparing it also with, you know, how it receives signals compared to my AirSpy HF Plus. Um, often using the same setup, the same software, and uh, checking out its performance. But uh, definitely nice and fun to play with. I had not plugged this in in such a long time that, um, you know, it's fun sometimes to revisit and, and play around with something. I mean, it was there on my desk f for months, and uh, every time I'd see it, I was like, yeah, I should, you know, I should plug that in and, and play with it. I mean, you got it. Why not, uh, you know, turn it on and use it? And uh, this is uh, also one of the reasons uh, is that I had to use my um, SDR plays our um, USB cable with my um, uh, Yesu FTDX10, which uh, meant that for the time being, my RSPDX um, needs to have. I need to actually order or get a, a new cable to for that one, so it has its own its own cable. But um, that gave me the uh, idea of uh, also using the RTL SDR on that uh, on the same mini PC that I'm using, which is a Core i5 uh, 8 generation here. So continuing to have fun, and of course we'll have more videos on the RTL SDR V3 performance. Try to kind of have uh, videos of uh, side by side, or, or at least two videos: one with the RSPDX. Uh, the, sorry, the uh, one with the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery and one with the uh, RTL SDR on the same signal at the same time because I'm able to do that. And you can maybe try to see if uh, you notice differences in reception. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.